Hi, my name is Tom and I'd like to welcome you to step one of our automated presentation system. We're going to be talking to you about the OneCoin One Concept Business Overview. Uh, this is all about our USA Alpha Launch. We're looking for leaders and very excited to be able to present OneCoin to you today. The goal of the presentation is to get you to understand what cryptocurrency is what's in it for you and ultimately how you can get started. Uh, I always tell people if I answer all your questions that's probably not a good sign. Uh, hopefully you have a pen and paper, you jot down even more questions and get those answered by the person who invited you to watch this presentation. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the presentation. So there's a lot of people out there that think digital currency is a fad. Well, it's not a fad. Uh, as uh, published in Wired Magazine, they said, irrespective of your opinion, the rise in popularity of cryptocurrencies really cannot be ignored. Actually, it's one of the fast, five fastest growing industries uh, in the emerging growth sector today. Uh, there are a number of billion dollar businesses that accept Bitcoin as a form of payment, including Dell, Overstock, Reddit, Expedia, Reed Jewelers, PayPal, and recently Microsoft. And so it goes on to say, for the uninitiated who have not yet grasped what Bitcoin is and other current uh, cryptocurrencies are, uh, you really ought to catch up. And I totally agree with them because I have read articles where there will be thousands and thousands of different forms of cryptocurrencies for different cultures and different uh, different communities. It's pretty amazing how people are adopting different cryptocurrencies all over the world. You know, our OneCoin promise, what we promise you today is to provide you with a simple three-step business introduction system if you decide to get into the business. And I should say up front, some people get in just to gain access to the education, the tokens, and ultimately the coins. Uh, there are others that get in to, to take advantage of that, plus also build a business introducing it and sharing it with others. Of course, we're we're building a culture of freedom uh, through a currency, so we, we hope that everybody that comes in will ultimately share it uh, because that just increases the demand for it, increases the value of it. Uh, our, our second promise is to educate you on, on digital currencies. Uh, it's important that you have an education uh, to offer you access to digital currencies, to create wealth with digital currencies, uh, to execute our business plan with world-class leadership, and we have that in absolute spades. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, our goal is to help you realize 10x freedom. Uh, and you say, well, what's 10x freedom? Well, it's it's freedom that's 10 times better than you would have ever imagined. <laughs> and uh, very excited about our OneCoin ADC system. This is our uh, simple seven-hour wealth system that focuses on automation, duplication, and creation. The one thing you can be very happy about is if you decide to get into our business, you'll never have to do a presentation. Uh, our system does it for you, and it kind of it filters out the people that are interested, uh, what I call the tire kickers, versus the people that are like, "Hey, I want to drive this car." And uh, you know, with the Seven Hour Wealth System, we uh, we do a, ha a hangout every single night. A hangout is like an online presentation that's live. Uh, our leaders pop in and say, "Hey, to everyone!" Uh, but we we ask you to spend one hour a night. Uh, the hour leading up to the presentation, we want you to focus on inviting lots of people and sharing it with lots of people. Uh, there's no selling here. Just say, hey, are you interested in uh, Bitcoin 2.0? Are you, are you interested in, 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 in creating wealth and, and owning a, a currency that appreciates? Uh, we have a lot of great different, you know, different angles on it. Uh, this is spreading across the college campuses using our system as well. Uh, kids in college really get this. They understand currency. Uh, they, they understand cryptocurrency, and they're definitely looking for ways to make money. If you can remember college, I certainly do, and uh, those were some broke days. Uh, but automation and marketing, let's talk about the ADC system, not the ABC system. Uh, but automation and marketing, uh, we have Facebook-based presentations like the one you're looking at. Uh, we have um, a robo uh, reminder calls, uh, chat rooms for education, auto posting systems, and lead generation pools. And this is a business you can do from anywhere in the world. You're not really tied down to any one location. Uh, D is duplication of team. Uh, we have a system that does the explaining, training, and enrolling for you. I, I think if uh, somebody calls you and says, well, give me a full presentation, say, well, I I'd love to, but there's a guy that's much more experienced that knows a lot more about this, so I'm going to let him do it, and if you're interested, you can get back to me. <laughs> you know, and people people pay as much attention to how you do the business as what the business actually is. So if they're like, well, Tom didn't even present to me. He just sent me a link and, and told me to, to watch a video. Um, you know, I can do that. And, that, and that's ultimately what you're trying to do is, is get people to look at it and say, okay, so Tom works from home, from his farm. Uh, he, he communicates with people on Facebook, sends them information about this, sends them a link, and the people who raise their hand up in the air, uh, he helps them, uh, you know, come up to the opportunity. And so 
when you think about duplication of team, it's very important that you don't make it look complicated. Uh, it's very important that uh, you know you're not wearing shiny suits or having to wash your car all the time or wear those expensive dot com shoes and expensive Robert Graham shirts. Uh, you know, folks, you just don't need that. You know, our, our business is about everyday people. It's about building a culture of people who want freedom from all that garbage. And um, so, duplication of, of team is very important. Uh, if you're out there telling people that they have to learn a 90-minute presentation and memorize everything about cryptocurrency, you're just not going to build a very big team. Uh, it, keep it simple, stupid, as we say. Uh, you know, just send somebody a link. Well, all I do is send somebody a link, and that's how I grow my business. Creation of wealth. You know, we focus on quality of life results. Again, uh, I'm I'm doing business from home in, in flip flops and shorts and a, in in a, in a decent t-shirt. My my wife won't, won't let me wear anything you know dirty or anything like that. <laughs> but I've got a you know I'm not wearing a farm shirt or anything like that. Occasionally, uh, I've been I've been known to wear some camouflage shirts. But uh, you know, it, the, the bottom line is, folks, is we we want to have fun with this. Uh, you know, we want people to be relaxed. Uh, we're not here to build an uptight culture where everybody's got to have starch shirts on and polished uh, pin. You know. Uh, uh, the, you know, starched pinpoints on it. We're not looking for that, folks. Okay, we're looking for people that say, "Hey, man, I, I don't want to go to any hotel meetings. I don't want to spend time in traffic. I'm not interested in three-way calls. I don't want to chase prospects. I just want to send people a link. Say if you're interested, holler at me. You know." So the OneCoin ADC system has "I can do it" written all over it because there's just not much you have to be able to do except for share links, and, and that's actually pretty easy. So let's look at the page that you're on right now so you have a really good understanding of what you're looking at. This is our Alpha Team Facebook presentation system. A five minute setup. You can see in the upper left hand corner it has a social media sharing. We would love it if you would give us a like or a share or a Google One Plus. That would be really exciting for us. It, it helps spread the word about our currency. We have a, a one minute sizzle video where people come and they see it and if they're interested they opt in. It captures their Facebook verified email address so you can get back to them if you want to or if you want to send them information you know you've got a good email address. It also has a 30 minute overview. So for those that are technical, it has a CRM system built into it, a, a customer relationship management system uh, where you can actually go in and see the people that have, have clicked register to come watch the webinar or watch the videos. So it collects information before it allows them to get to the actual presentation, just as you had to do that getting to this presentation. Uh, we also have a, a 30 minute overview, which is what you're watching right now. We have our compensation overview, which hopefully you'll watch next. And then we have the ADC system training video, which is the third video for you to watch. Uh, the secure your spot can be personalized with your own link. And if you scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll see clone this page at the very bottom. Uh, that's how you copy the page. Don't do that until you watch video number three. But uh, it takes five minutes to set it up and it's copied to your Facebook system. You take all the graphics from our page, everything that you want to use, and you're in business with your own marketing tool. We also have syndicated hangouts. So every night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the top one minute sizzle video changes to a live video of a hangout of usually me and leaders that are, are visiting in to see the, the actual presentation. But every night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we go live, but we're broadcasting through hundreds of people's Facebook pages uh, using this powerful syndicated hangout system. So very exciting to have this kind of tool. Uh, you know, w when you look at uh, the ability to build a business online and have tools like this, uh, it just makes life so much easier. So let's get into the second part of our promise, and that is uh, we told you we talked to you about what a what cryptocurrency is. And so what I thought I would do in this presentation is give you the five components that make up a, a cryptocurrency, what you really need. And, and I, I tell people, let, let's have some fun with this. Let, let's talk about creating our own island. We, we, we go, uh, we're sailing along, we find this vacant island out in the middle of the, the sea, and we stake our flag. and. All of a sudden, you know, we've got a big social media following because people follow us on our sailboat adventures. And this, by the way, this is like one of my dreams, okay? <laughs> and uh, this is, uh, so I pull up to the island, stake my flag, and I say, you know what? I'm going to invite friends to come here and do business. Um, but to do that, we need to have our own currency. So I decided to create an algorithm, uh, which I'm not smart enough to do that, but I would hire somebody smart enough to do it, somebody that uh, knows uh, Calculus 3 and Algebra 3 and all those great uh, math uh, 
uh, maths that combine letters and numbers, which I don't really get. Um, but algorithm, it, it basically determines how many coins can be created. Once the algorithm is locked in, it cannot be changed. And uh, basically an algorithm is an equation that says, okay, every time, and let, let's keep it real simple, every time you solve the equation that equals five, the algorithm will create a coin. And a coin is basically a serial number with a unit of value assigned to it, okay? And so every time we come up, one plus four equals a coin, two plus three equals a coin, you know, uh, two plus three is a coin, uh, 101 minus 106 is a coin, uh, you know, 56 minus 51 is a coin, you know, so we go through the, the algorithm and it produces uh, coins and, and of course it gets it gets consistently harder for the algorithm to solve the equation which creates a you know a little bit more expense to create the coins which creates a you know basically an intrinsic value on them and so when you look at the algorithm uh, let's say you come to the island and I've decided well I'm gonna offer five packages ranging from a hundred euros up to five thousand euros and with each package you're gonna get certain benefits on my island okay and uh, one and each one of them is going to include some gold uh, each one of them is going to include education about the island what we want you to do and what we don't want you to do uh, basically how we're going to operate the island and then the other element is we're going to give you some tokens and each package comes with a, a different level of tokens so you're going to turn those tokens over to our mining operation so that's the second element you need in creating a cryptocurrency you need a computer bank, uh, a, a whole bunch of computers to solve these complex mathematical equations to create coins. And so you'll turn, let's say you turn over 60,000 tokens over to our mining operation. You, you bought our top package and our, our mining operation says based on the current power capacity and, and needs, uh, it's going to cost you six tokens per coin. Uh, and you say, okay, here's 60,000 tokens. Well, that equals 10,000 coins. And so these mining operations, uh, like with Bitcoin, uh, you had to create your own mining operations. You had to set up your own computers and you had to know how to do that. And it was just ridiculous. I mean, no, nobody knew how to do that. Um, I mean, very few people did, uh, not the average Joe. And so with us, you don't have to do that. You simply just turn your tokens over to our mining operation and we expand the server rooms as they're in need, as there's a need to add more computing power to solve the equations. So the mining company mines your coins and eventually puts them all in your wallet. And you know, it might take a month, you know, it might take two months, but eventually you have your 10,000 coins in your e-wallet. And uh, let's say that you want to generate some cash, okay? Well, you'll take some of those coins uh, to, you know, some liquid cash. You've got your coins, but you want to create some liquidity so you can go buy the island bar down the street and you want to buy a little piece of real estate. So you send your coins to our exchange. Well, we have our own like stock exchange that where the coins are bought and sold. There's a bid and the ask for the coins, uh, you know, is what you can buy them for versus what you can sell them for. The community and the demand for the coins will determine the value. It's a free market uh, currency. Okay. Um, and then, you know, of course, if you want to, you can convert the coins into, into any sovereign or fiat currency like the dollar or euro or Swiss franc or whatever you want to do. Um, but you, you take the coins to the exchange and you hit the sell button. Okay, and this is all very seamless. It's just in your back office. You just go exchange and uh, I want to sell uh, 1,000 coins and you hit enter and uh, the money is li liquidated. It's put into your account and uh, cash is put into your account, the island cash, let's call it the liquidity. Okay, then you can go buy your bar and you can buy your piece of real estate. Now, to maintain the integrity of the actual uh, cryptocurrency, you got to have a blockchain. And a blockchain is a list of all transactions that are done. It's transparent and it's available for the public to see every single transaction. Uh, they'll see your account number, but they won't know who it's associated with. But uh, the important thing is that there is a public audit and, and people monitoring the system to make sure that every transaction is going through. So if I do a transaction with Bob down the street, Bob can check it to see if it goes on the blockchain. If it does, it means it's a legitimate transaction, that uh, the coins are real and they're part of our system. They're not counterfeited. So that, that's real important. So for, for those that don't know how a mining operates, so we've created our own island. We've created our, our we've, we've established an island. We created our own cryptocurrency uh, with an algorithm. We set up some computers uh, anywhere in the world. The, those computers solve the equations. Uh, we set up our own exchange. So if you want to buy and sell the coins and buy more or sell your coins or whatever, you can do that. But as more people come to the island and buy the packages, 
the more demand there is for the currency. So when there's more demand, what happens to the value of the currency? Well, it goes up in value. Uh, and you're looking at like one coin right now that in seven months has more registered users than Bitcoin does in seven years. So there's going to be a massive demand for this coin because people are very excited about the way the company has been set up. All of this is integrated. Uh, in a Bitcoin 1.0, all of this was fragmented and it was very difficult for people to understand. Well, now it's all seamless on one platform and it just makes a lot of sense to people. Okay. So let's talk about the power to create currency. Well, a definition of a sovereign is a monarch, a king, queen, or other supreme ruler, a group or body of persons, which is kind of what one coin is, or a group starting their own island or whatever, or a state having sovereign authority. Well, I think you'll agree with me today, and then this is what bothers most people. Well, not, not everybody, but it bothers me. Uh, but sovereign nations create currency and they use this printing power, the power of the printing press as I call it, to control cultures through taxation and debt. And debt, obviously being the ultimate imprisonment tool, is something that most people never escape their entire life. They just stay in debt. Uh, tomorrow, uh, what I call tomorrow world, which is what we're a part of, sovereign individuals and groups like OneCoin will create currency and create cultures that value freedom. Uh, OneCoin bottom line is the future of currency for a culture that values freedom. So if that's what you're looking for, if you want to have a currency that appreciates in value, if you want a currency that's trusted, uh, that's not laden down by, by trillions and trillions of debt, uh, this is something you ought to really consider because it's, uh, it's something that uh, I know once we're able as businesses to accept Bitcoin for services, uh, anybody that wants to do my consulting services, I'll gladly accept OneCoin. Uh, currency is a form of communication. We know that governments, companies, adults, children create currency every day. As we jokingly say, everyone owns a printing press. It's not limited to just owning a mint now. Uh, the Fed, SNB, Swiss National Bank, uh, European uh, Central Bank, they print paper notes, really fancy engraved ones, and they call them currency. Um, a lot of people are out there, you know, replicating them, counterfeiting them. Uh, companies create rewards programs, you know, and, and rewards programs are like frequent flyer miles. You know, that's a form of currency. Uh, children uh, trade baseball cards, uh, Pokemon, marbles, Beanie Babies. If you've ever dealt in bartering, that's a form of currency. Uh, cultures also create and adopt crypto and digital currencies. There are countries in Africa that have adopted uh, cryptocurrencies like Dogcoin and it represents 40% of their GDP. They just trust it because everybody uses it and everybody sees the value in it and the value of it stays stable because there's an algorithm behind it that, that prevents too much printing of the of the actual coin okay and that's really what the problem is I mean if you just keep printing and printing and printing eventually uh, you know you're, you're basically involved in a Ponzi scheme because you're printing tons of currency to support the the amount of debt that you've taken on and in and, and my opinion that is the that's the definite definition of a Ponzi scheme uh, when you have to do that to go into debt to print money and, and, and draw from current income to pay future needs. Last time I checked, old Charles defined that one very well. That's Charles Ponzi for those that don't know who he is. Um, you know, attributes of currency. What, what determines the value of a currency? Perception. Do people believe in the value? Uh, transparency. Do people trust the issuer? Uh, if it's got a public record and, and everything's transparent and every transaction goes by and the algorithm is solid, people will trust it. Uh, access. Can it be transported and transacted easily? Um, I'm a big believer in gold and silver and I'm a hard asset guy too, but you know, walk, walk through the airport with a couple thousand dollars worth of gold and see what happens to you. You'll get a, you might get a visit from Homeland Security. <laughs> Culture. Does it facilitate uh, communication? Uh, it's important that, you know, when people are in a culture that they're able to communicate and communicate value, uh, exchange value, and, and, and trust each other and make payments. So it's very impo important in culture does it facilitate communication and OneCoin will definitely do that because we can all pay each other. We can we can use each other's services and acquire OneCoin and we'll be able to spend it at, at regular retailers that will accept our OneCoin because, because they see the value just like people are with Bitcoin. Okay. So you can't really tell this story without talking about Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is 1.0. We're riding the coattails of its success. 
But here's the funny thing. It was started by an anonymous person with open source so software. You know, every, everybody uh, thinks it's this whole anonymous platform. I, I always tell people, how do you know it wasn't started by the NSA? <laughs> I mean, it's really a brilliant story. But, uh, you know, there's over 250,000 users worldwide. It has 11 billion in market value. And, uh, you know, it's bigger than most U.S. corporations. And it's a very anonymous-based uh, organization. Uh, you know, it's, it has lack of central exchange, dedicated lack of dedicated management team, lack of transparency, and, and lack of in, independent auditor. Um, and it really just operates in, in a very gray area, but it's been accepted all over the world. Uh, and, and also, you know, it's been ex recognized as an asset by the Internal Revenue Service and people like Ben Bernanke, former chair of the Federal Reserve, has done congressional hearings on Bitcoin uh, and, and the, the necessity of cryptocurrencies and how it's going to help the, the flow of, of, of transactions and business around the world. But here's the funny thing, with all this negative stuff around Bitcoin, uh, you know, Silk Road and Mt. Gox and the, the failures of Bitcoin, it still was the highest returning investment in the history of the world from 2009 to 2013. And I was figuring out if you had bought Bitcoin for 25 cents, uh, you know, per coin when it first came out, it actually came out at 10 cents, but at 25 cents and you sold it at 1203, which was its peak, you would have ended up with about $3 million off of a $500 investment in coins. So pretty incredible return when you think about that. Now, here's the cool thing. One coin already has more registered users than Bitcoin, and our coin is trading at less than a dollar right now. And so, you know, you have to say, well, am I at the right place at the right time? Am I willing to pull the trigger? Uh, is this going to be bigger than Bitcoin? And, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about it. Our, we've kind of filled in all of the holes of Bitcoin, and, and I'll cover that here in just a minute. But, uh, you know, as I said, over a quarter million people have joined this powerful opportunity. Not just joined, they paid to join. So these are committed members. And, is, you know, interesting thing about it is 90% of our company is Asian. And so that, that you know, 90% of the English-speaking world doesn't even know about OneCoin yet. And uh, in the United States, uh, we're just getting open, and that's why we're doing our alpha launch right now. So we're looking for leaders that want to help take it to the English-speaking community around the world. So let's talk about OneCoin. Uh, go through a little bit of an introduction. Uh, why does OneCoin beat uh, Bitcoin, or why will it? In our in, in our opinion, uh, we have a much more advanced and secure algorithm and platform uh, that's overseen by a, a centralized management team. Uh, we have one exchange, our own exchange. You don't have to send your money to some exchange in in, in you know. Guatemala or, or wherever that you don't know where you're sending your money to sell your coins. Um, so we have our own exchange. Uh, we have dedicated management team. Uh, we have mining pools. Now I'm picking on Guatemala, just so you know. I just couldn't come up with anything off the top of my head. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's uh, you send it to Nigeria, wherever you send it. You just don't you don't have to say some some, you know, town in China that you can't pronounce. Uh, there were exchanges all over the world, and the idea of uh, where you can actually sell your coins and buy your coins, you literally had to send money to those places, and, and uh, you know you had to trust that their exchange was solid. With ours, uh, our exchange is all under one, everything's under one roof with this, and that's what I like about it. Our mining pools are under one roof. Uh, we are KYC compliant, BSA compliant, and uh, Bank Secrecy Act. And one of the reason I tell you that is people will come to us thinking that they can they can be anonymous and hide their money from the U.S. government and the European governments, etc. Don't think that. Okay, uh, we are KYC compliant. Know your customer. Uh, if the governments come knocking because they think you're doing something illegal, uh, they're going to know who you are. So you, you you know don't think this is like a Bitcoin where you can kind of hide under the radar under an anonymous name. Um, we are very early stage, and, and by the way, I think that's a real plus when we talk about KYC because I, I want one coin to last forever. I don't want it to be something where the U.S. government sees it as a nefarious organization and shuts it down. We want to help facilitate commerce in the world, and we, we want to help people create wealth through a, a currency that appreciates. Um, it, you know, and if we're appreci if, if I make a lot of money in the United States with one coin and I pay my taxes, uh, you know, the federal, the, the, the treasury should be just as happy, you know, so when you, when you think about that, but early stage, uh, early on, uh, it's, it's very important that we're, we're not mature. So the biggest returns are made in the very beginning from people who got into, involved in Microsoft and Walmart and McDonald's and, you know, all those companies and they went through all their stock splits and they 
they ended up with millions of shares at you know $100 a share or $50 a share. They just got wealthy because they, they, were, they were at the right place at the right time, and they were willing to pull the trigger, and uh, you know they did. So smaller denominations is important. Right now, the uh, Bitcoin's at $240 a coin, and that just kind of turns people off. It's like, well, oh God, I only have 480 bucks. I can only buy two coins. This thing's really got to go up in value for me to make any money. Well, when you can buy coins at 50 cents to a dollar and it, it goes up to five or ten dollars, well, then you're talking a, a much more substantial return and it, it feels much more meaningful. Um, why one coin? Why now? Well, because people have a desire to communicate globally and locally. Uh, there's a lot of currencies around the world that just aren't trusted anymore and they're looking for a way to communicate with something they can trust. People are seeking value in life. Uh, the idea of owning a currency that depreciates a couple couple percent per year or 10 percent per year, uh, people are going backwards. They're not going forward. Uh, people question their national and sovereign currencies and the amount of debt. Certainly in the United States, you've seen the infographic that shows the amount of debt we have in relation to the Eiffel Tower. Um, it's staggering. I mean, the amount of money we've printed uh, in relation to if it was stacked side by side to the Eiffel Tower, I think it's like six times larger than Eiffel Tower, something crazy. But uh, there's an incredible infographic out there that shows uh, how, mu how much money it would actually be that we printed. Um, one coin, you know, well, here, here's the bottom line. People want freedom from fill in the blank. You fill in the blank. What do you want freedom from? Do you want freedom from debt? Do you want freedom from your job? Do you want freedom from, uh, you know, uh, employment, unemployment, uh, you want freedom from your country, uh, you want to be able to live on an island somewhere, I mean, what do you want freedom from? And uh, freedom from bad health because you're working too much, but whatever it is, you have to fill in that blank. And if your dreams for that freedom are, are bigger than your excuses, uh, you'll love OneCoin because we communicate freedom, value, and transparency. And it's something that you can go out and share with people and feel great about because it's it'll create wealth for you, it'll create wealth for others. So let's talk about the founder for a moment. This is very exciting. Uh, you know, Dr. Ruja is uh, a brilliant woman. And I got to tell you, and I always jokingly say this, and it may offend some people, but I have worked under a lot of men that have screwed a lot of companies up. <laughs> so I am very, very happy, especially in a financial company, to, to be working under a woman, especially with a woman with, with her pedigree uh, in, in looking at her background, incredible accomplishments. Uh, degree in law from University of Oxford, master's degree, former partner with McKinsey and Company, one of the premier consulting companies in the world, former CEO and CFO of a, a very large, one of the largest asset management funds in Bulgaria. Uh, also found out she's a member of Mensa Society, which means she has an extremely high IQ and uh, just an incredible woman, uh, it, conscientious, uh, but at the same time, uh, very focused and very firm in her management and very uh, committed to getting things done the right way. And uh, I just know with her training and what she, she learned at McKinsey and her, her background uh, that she's got to be a very methodical, very well thought out uh, leader in business. And she did all this before she was 34 years old. She was also uh, voted as Entrepreneur of the Year two times in a year in Bulgaria. And recently, she was featured on the cover of Forbes magazine in Europe, which, you know, I, you know, people say, well, is this real? Is it a scam? I say, you know what? Forbes has a really good vetting department. Okay. They do a really good job vetting people and checking out their backgrounds and interviewing people before they will put them underneath that F O R B E S, that logo that is so well respected around the world. And so it's very important for you to understand, you may think you can go to Google and you can Google it and find people that say, you know, thing, bad things about us, but they, they don't have the credibility of Forbes. They haven't done the research that Forbes has done. They've just made up garbage so they can get internet traffic and get top search results because they know this company is going someplace. So I tell people, you know, when you research any company, you can find out, you, you can find something negative about any company. But I can tell you this, I don't believe Forbes would have put her on the cover of that magazine if they would have found anything negative about her or the company or found out any truth in what people are trying to, to tear down. And they're trying to tear down what I think is something great uh, when you think about it. We're trying to create a, a currency that appreciates and creates wealth for people. Why would people be against that? 
you know and so cryptocurrency is one of those new fields that people are skeptical about but I want to remind you when PayPal first came out everybody thought it was a scam too okay oh sending email to money by email that's got to be a scam you know and and so when you look at the companies that ended up being massive successes early on they were criticized very heavily and one coin is just in a position of being a market leader you know sometimes it's it's not always best to be the first to market uh, like Bitcoin because you run into all of the criticisms mistakes and mistakes that can really hold you back uh, because the way you designed your initial business model uh, we have the fortunate ability to look at what Bitcoin did wrong and ultimately fix those problems and that's that's what I love about Dr. Rusha she's obviously through her consulting and working with cryptocurrency companies she saw what was wrong and she really created a cryptocurrency for the layman for somebody who says hey I want to participate in this but I don't want to have to set up all that stuff and all that software and everything just give me one platform I can log into and I can do business and get coins and, and use my debit card don't change my habits is ultimately what I'm trying to say and in her uh, her design of this company is simply brilliant and her execution so far has been simply brilliant and in, in considering the fact of how fast we're growing uh, 260,000 people in seven months that's a lot to manage and she's done a, a magnificent job so when, when you look at crypto cryptocurrencies you know we have uh, you know cryptocurrencies are, are recognized globally um, we have uh, you know we talk about preferred exchange cryptocurrencies have become the preferable medium of exchange with many worldwide merchants um, universal solution cryptocurrencies offer a decentralized solution independent of governments bottom line is governments are screwing it up right now you know they're just spending money out of control uh, they're not being fiscally responsible and we're just seeing a, you know a disaster when it comes to what's going on in the management of, of governments uh, not not just in the US but all around the world and ultimately cryptocurrencies are controlled by algorithms so don't confuse this with other companies uh, who claim to be token companies that they, they don't have an algorithm uh, they don't have a mining operation. They're just they're just printing tokens left and right, pretending it's a cryptocurrency. It's it's really not. So you've got to be careful of that as well. Got to make sure the company has a real algorithm, a real mining operation, and everything is controlled by that algorithm. So as I mentioned earlier in our explanation, an algorithm has fixed finite solutions, and uh, you know every time those solutions are are solved, it creates what are called coins or what I call units of value. Um, everything's governed by mathematics and cannot be changed once the mining begins and as I mentioned earlier uh, you know just an example to produce a, a cryptocurrency if you needed three coins uh, you know and you had to figure out what equals five to get those coins well these would be the equations that you would solve and each of those solutions would be equal to one coin and of course those those equations would get more difficult and more difficult requiring more mining power okay the more mining power you have uh, the more expensive it is so it costs more to get coins so as your economy grows uh, the cost of coins go up which creates value for the people who got their coins early on I, I've seen my coins already almost double in value since I've had them and uh, that's that's very cool I can't wait to see them go a hundred times so uh, what what they are because uh, that'll be retirement time um, member education you know when you look at our product we have one Academy so everybody buys an educational package and with that comes some gold come some benefits and come some tokens that come with each of the packages and I'll show you that here in a minute but uh, we have multiple educational levels five levels with five educational packages and each one comes with free tokens that can be used to buy slots for mining one coin so here's our packages they range anywhere from a hundred euros all the way up to five thousand euros and uh, the, each package again it just has a different level of tokens a different level of level of education and uh, it, it's a real product it's something that people buy and of course you know you can do with what you want with the tokens you don't necessarily have to go buy currency but you can if you want to we are commissioned on the sale of educational packages not currency I want to be very clear about that um, you also get bonus uh, gold, uh, RM gold coins, uh, with each of the packages as well. Those are those are bonuses as well. So, you know, what can you do with the tokens? Of course, take them to one exchange. You can take them to the mining operation. You can sell the tokens, keep the tokens, wait for them to split in value. Uh, you can use the tokens to purchase things. Uh, and, and so, the tokens are are very valuable, and people do use them uh, for for you know exchanging value and, and getting their coins. 
Uh, as I mentioned, we also have our blockchain. Uh, this is a little bit of an introduction. It's your online dashboard that displays current and past trades you've made with one coin, but it's a streaming uh, action that shows the transactions of the entire company as well. So it's publicly audited, and, and so you make a transaction to make sure everything's accurate. You can go there, and you'll see the transaction go by with your account number, uh, which it's a, a live streaming public audit of what's going on with our currency. Um, we don't really have that here in the U.S. There's no real live stream of every transaction. <laughs> in fact, the Federal Reserve is not even audited, which I find hard to believe, but uh, that's true. And I don't know if that's true of the ECB or the Swiss National Bank, but I don't know how you can be a, a financial organization and, and not have to adhere to what the private sector does when it comes to audits. But hmm, that's the way it is. Uh, with ours, it'll be all public audit, and you'll see every single transaction. I like that. I trust that a lot better. I don't know about you. Uh, we also have a recognition and rewards program. Uh, you know, working with uh, you know uh, OneCoin is a lot of fun. We have uh, we believe in, in in providing people the recognition for their achievements. Uh, people will work very very hard. But we've got a, a very exciting comp plan. When you when you see our comp plan, uh, you know you'll, we we have direct sales comp compensation. And, and this is in step two. I'm going to go into greater detail. Uh, we have our network bonus, uh, matching bonuses, startup bonuses, One Life Club bonuses, which are like frequent flyer miles. Uh, we we do splits on our currency. So today I've got 40,000 coins. Tomorrow I may have 80,000 coins. Uh, we offer gold bonuses along with every package. We have leadership programs. When you hit certain leadership levels, you get additional bonuses. And then our one payments card is is how you spend it all. Uh, it's just like the same cards that you have in your wallet. Uh, you have the ability to transact business that way as well. But uh, you know when you look at the potential growth potential of what we're doing with one coin. You know, and these are simply you know predictions. They're not financial forecasts. But what if you get your coins at fifty cents to a dollar, and they go to five dollars? You know, or two fifty, two two dollars and fifty uh, two and a half euros. Um, what an amazing opportunity to have a currency that appreciates in value versus the one that you're currently having in your pocket in your bank account, which is depreciating every year. It's just so something for you to think about. Uh, what type of currency would you rather own? One that goes up in value, or one that goes down in value? Uh, when you look at the three-year potential, you know when we hit uh, a million members or we hit two million people using our currency, and and companies like Amp, potentially Amazon could be accepting one coin. You know, it, it just the value of it goes up. The more vendors that accept it, and the more accepted it is worldwide, the more valuable it becomes. And you're just at the right place at the right time. You're down here at you know uh, 33 weeks or somewhere in that area, or 17 weeks, and it's just an amazing time to be involved with the company. Again, this is just a prediction. It's not a financial forecast, and it's for educational purposes only. But the idea of, and, and I use this example, uh, you know, if you came and cut my lawn, and I paid you $100 to cut my lawn. Um, which would be a real deal because I have about 80 acres of grass. I'd love to pay you $100 to cut my cut my cut my grass. Uh, do that all day long. <laughs> but uh, let's say I paid you $100 today, and you put that $100 in the bank, and a year later uh, you withdrew it, and it was worth you know uh, each dollar I gave you was worth five dollars now. Uh, well, all of a sudden you've got $500 as, a, as opposed to uh, you know $100. So you actually made $500, $400, letting your money sit in the bank. Uh, and that, that to me is a way of really creating wealth as opposed to the $100 being worth $97 a year from now, which is kind of what we're the scenario that a lot of people are work under now. So when your money is eroding every year in value, how do you create wealth if you're not getting a net positive return over and above that? So again, going back to Bitcoin, uh, wow, what a what a great time to be in Bitcoin the last seven years. And I can tell you, uh, maybe the next seven years will be the, a great time to be involved in one coin, what we call Bitcoin 2.0. But uh, it's been a real pleasure giving you the presentation today. I hope that's enough to really get you excited about learning more. Uh, what I would encourage you to do if you want to learn more about the compensation plan and get involved in the business, definitely go on to step number two and watch the compensation plan right now. But lock in your position. It's very important because our organizations are growing very quickly, and these binary compensation plans are extremely powerful and can you, you, some of the fastest growing, highest paying compensation plans in the world. And uh, it's just very excited. And we'll cover that in step two of the compensation plan. So go on to that video. I'll see you in the next video. And again, it's been a pleasure presenting OneCoin to you today.